Did you know that there is a national policy that provides the framework of the roadmap for handling disasters in a holistic manner? Do you know according to which act it is made? Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about the national policy on disaster management that was formulated in the year 2009. Now, let us move forward and look at what all we are going to discuss in this video. We will first look at actually what is a national policy on disaster management what does it mean okay and then we will move on to the vision of this plan we will try to understand why this plan came into ex existence and what it actually intends to do and then we will have to look at what it deals with okay then we will go to go into the background of national policy on disaster management how it came into existence and all that then we will uh, look at who is responsible for disaster management. And then finally, we will look at NDRF. What do you mean by NDRF? NDRF means National Disaster Response Force. Moving forward. So, what is a disaster management plan? What are its specifics? So, what is NPDM. It is a policy. And what does it based on? It is based on disaster management. And what does it do? It provides a framework or roadmap. Now, why is it necessary? It is necessary for handling disasters in a holistic manner. Because when a disaster happens, when a calamity happens, it cannot be dealt in a minor way because there are many people involved. Like there are lives of many people. There are Live, uh, livelihood of many people there are so many things that is involved and it comes into chaos after a disaster but the national policy on disaster management it will provide a framework or roadmap for handling disasters in a more holistic manner now you have to understand that the national policy on disaster management it is made in accordance with it is prepared in tune and in pursuance of Na Disaster Management Act. Disaster Management Act that was prepared in 2005. That came into existence in 2005. So, you have to understand about what NPDM is and why it is relevant and also it came in accordance with National Disaster Management Act of 2005. Now, what does NPDM hold? That is the National Policy on Disaster Management hold as a vision. We'll see that in the next slide. NPDM, that is the policy, the National Policy on Disaster Management, it has a vision. Now, what is its vision? We can break down this into parts and we'll look at each of them. The first is to build a safe and disaster resilient India by, okay? The first part is this one. And what do what is its vision? It is to build a safe and disaster resilient India. How? By developing a holistic and pro holistic, proactive, multi-disaster oriented and technology driven strategy through a culture of prevention, mitigation, preparedness and response. So, I will break it here and we will break it here and we will try to understand. Okay. So, first our vision is to build a safe and disaster resilient India. So, what is answered? Uh, uh, what is the vision? To build a safe and disaster resilient India. And how is it achieved? It is achieved by developing a holistic, proactive, multi-disaster oriented and technology driven strategy. So, how do you how do you achieve a safe and disaster resilient India? You achieve that by developing a holistic, a complete, a proactive, multi-disaster oriented and technology driven strategy. So, many things have to play a role. It has to be holistic. A complete plan, it has to be proactive, 
it has to be multi disaster oriented that is not just for one disasters disaster it has to include measures for all the disaster that can happen within india and also it has to be technology driven why does it have to be technology driven because it is much easier quicker and also cheap and effective in a week now how do you achieve it so the what portion has been addressed the why the how portion has been addressed and also how do you do it through a culture of prevention mitigation preparedness and response so you develop a culture of prevention so prevention is always better than cure so what do you do first you try to prevent a disaster upon knowing that there is a disaster you try to prevent it and then there is the mitigation part then you will be prepared in case that disaster will happen and it is supposed to happen you will be prepared enough for it and then there is the final part that is response towards the disaster all these are being taken care of and by taking care of all these things we are trying to build a safe and disaster resilient in india so looking at the definition again the nd the npdm that is the national Dis policy on disaster management it actually has a vision to build a safe and disaster resilient india by developing a holistic proactive multi disaster oriented and technology driven strategy through a culture of prevention mitigation preparedness and response now it is also important to note note that npdm addresses the concern of all sections of the society including rural including differently abled people women children and also every other disadvantaged groups in terms of grant of relief and formulating measures for rehabilitation of the affected people because of all of these disaster the issue of inclusiveness has been accorded due consideration it has been kept in the mind of npdm and all these have been formulated in accordance with considering all of the above said now going forward what does the national policy deal with the policy covers all aspects of disaster management covering institutional legal and financial arrangements disaster prevention mitigation preparedness techno legal regime response relief and rehabilitation reconstruction and recovery capacity development knowledge management and research and development so let us break this down the policy covers all aspects of disaster and management now what all it, what all does it include institutional legal and financial arrangements first of all it includes institutional legal and financial arrangements next it becomes disaster prevention there is arrangements and then there is the prevention then there is the mitigation and preparedness in case the disaster will happen and we cannot prevent it anyway there is a mitigation and preparedness then there is the techno legal or regi then there is response response from uh, the side of the authority and then there is relief and rehabilitation when a uh, when a disaster has occurred there is more calamity and there is so much of issues and then there is problem it all these problems are addressed through relief and there they are rehabilitated suppose there is an earthquake and all the buildings were destroyed then the, all those people are rehabilitated into certain other areas and then there is reconstruction and recovery uh, whatever has been destroyed in in the disaster it is reconstructed and it is recovered and then there is capacity development if, if in the future if such a disaster comes we have to be prepared and then there is knowledge management and research and development so we put into use the knowledge that we know uh, so that such a disaster does not affect so well the next time and then there is research and development all of these are included within the national policy of disaster management just like we said before the npdm addresses the concern of all sections including differently abled people 
women, children and other disadvantaged groups, even if it is in terms of granting relief, formulating measures uh, and, you know, providing rehabilitation of the affected persons that has been occurred due to these disasters. The issue of inclusiveness has been accorded due consideration. It has been kept in mind and everything has been done according to that. It also, the NPDM, the NPDM also focuses on the areas where action is needed and the institutional mechanisms through which such action can be channeled. So, the policy keeps focus on areas where that action is needed and also there are institutional mechanisms through which that action can be put into reality. Now, the end. PDM. The policy aims to bring in, what all does it bring in? It brings in transparency and it brings in accountability in all aspects, in all aspects of disaster management through involvement of community, community-based organizations, the Panchayati Raj institutions, local bodies and civil society. So it ensures transparency and accountability in the process. Now, moving forward, we will look into the background of national policy on disaster management. Now, let us look at the background. Now, what is the background of national policy on disaster management? We know that it came into existence in the year 2009. So, how did it come into existence? You have to understand that there was a disaster management act that was enacted by the parliament and it was notified in the Gazette of India. And this Disaster Management Act came into existence in the year 2005 and it was notified in the Gazette of India in 20, uh, on 26 December 2005. So, th that Act, the Disaster Management Act, it provides for legal, legal and institutional framework, institutional framework, Framework for the management of disasters, for the management of disasters. So, the Disaster Management Act, it actually mandates the creation of a new institution and it assigns specific roles. Uh, it actually aims to assign, through the institution, it, it aims to assign specific roles for center, for center, state, and local governments. Now, the chairmanship of the National Disaster Management Authority under the provisions of the Disaster Management Act has been given to the Prime Minister. And also, you have to understand there is a executive committee called the National Executive Committee and uh, it is of secretaries and it has been created to assist the NDMA, the National Disaster Management Act uh, Authority, and in that, in the performance of its functions. Okay? So, under the provisions of the Act of Disaster Management, there is a certain authority called the Na National Disaster Management Authority, in, and it has been established under the chairmanship of Prime Minister of Prime Minister and also NEC. What is NEC? National Executive Committee and it has been of secretaries and they have, have been created to assist NDMA in the performance of its functions. Now, what happens at the state level? At centre we have discussed and at the state level, the State Disaster Management Authority, the State Disaster Management Authority uh, has been created under the chairmanship of the chief minister and also it will be assisted by a state executive committee. So, there at the center there is the PM and NEC and uh, there in the state level there is CM and the council of uh, and the ministers. So, at the district level, what happens at the district level? Similarly, at the district level, there is a district disaster management authority that has been created.
Now we will move forward and look at the next aspect. Who is responsible for disaster management? You have to understand that the primary responsibility for management of disasters rests with the state government and not the central government. It is the state government who is concerned with the primary affairs and the primary re primary responsibilities for the management of the disaster. And then you have to understand that disaster management is a multidisciplinary activity. It has to be performed in a cohesive synergy among all the st stakeholders. And also that institutional mechanism put in a place at center, state and district level. That is at the center, state and district level. All of this put together helps to manage disasters in an effective manner. Okay. Now, the National Policy on Disaster Management puts it in a place enabling environment for all. It is not just for certain sections of the society. It is an inclusive for all. And it is expected by all stakeholders to put up their best efforts. Uh, there was a flood in Kerala uh, during the year 2018. And you could see that there were volunteers from all the institutions like schools, like colleges and there were many more people involved you can see the normal people like the fishermen and they all did an extraordinary job of doing the uh, handling the disaster management they all cooperated so well and you have to understand that every section of the society it is ex expected by all the stakeholders to put up their best efforts for managing any disaster as per the framework of NPDM. Now, every disaster teaches us new lessons and the government or the society learns to adapt with them accordingly. NPDM has been fruitful in developing a holistic, proactive, multi-disaster oriented and technology develop driven approach in our country. So, it has been exceedingly good and you have to understand that it has been one of the most very well planned and effect uh, effectively implemented policies now, moving on to NDRF. What NDRF? Now, NDRF is the National Disaster Response Force. NDRF stands for National Disaster Response Force. Now, NDRF, NDRF has been responding to various rescue operations in disaster within the country and abroad. Not just within the country, but also abroad, saving precious lives and retrieving dead bodies of the victims. Now, NDRF personnel responded outstandingly and detailed victims of rescued and retrieved by NDRF to dates are. So, let us look at the data in world. And you can actually quote these in your answers, uh, the data, and it's an additional one. Okay? Uh, NDRF has rescued more than 4 point, uh, 4 point lakh human lives. As of the latest, latest data, it has also retrieved more than 2,000 dead bodies. It, is trained, it has trained community volunteers and also besides in our NDRF, is also imparting training to SDRF personnel, that is the State Disaster Response Force, and also other stakeholders. And NDR NDRF has done an outstanding job of doing their work very correctly and efficiently. Now, I have mentioned all the necessary points on national policy on disaster management in this video, but you can actually get the complete notes uh, apart from the overview on our website. Please do refer it and take down the notes and you can have an excellent understanding of the topic. Thank you.